a new mouth and then it has a little nipple here. Oh, okay, right and it's supposed to come over here. I just found the center stand. All right, this is Eric P Pulliam, right? Yep. Pulliam, and this is the amazing Motoped. Uh, what engine you got in this one, Eric? This is the 90cc SSR. 90cc SSR engine. This is the actual 2015 model bike. Of the bike, 2015 model of the bike. And what do you got down here? What's this, an extra fuel, more fuel? Yeah, it's a, it's a three liter extra spare tank. You just stick on the bottom, you get about 100 miles out of that. Uh, out of 100 miles out of just that tank mm -hmm. and then how much more out of this, this one this runs about the same uh-huh maybe a little bit bigger and you get about 100 miles of that too you got about 200 mile fuel peak blue wow and so you got some <laughs> you got some lighting for the trails uh you still got pedals and so it's pedal start or kick start um if you had a clutch you could bump start but i don't bump start it because it's really hard to just jam it uh-huh and it doesn't really but it has a transmission through the gears, right? How many speed transmission? Four speed. Say again? Four speed. Four speed transmission. And then bicycle-like controls up here. Got your little GPS. Got your <laughs> waterproof smartphone back here. And uh, oh, you got some compression and rebound yeah, dampening yeah, capability. Not much. Are junk. Yeah, they're not. And this but is. You know what? That Gold Rim Trail did wreak havoc on that. Oh one. yeah. And this is a, basically a stock bike that you can get from Motoped, this setup here? Mm, this one's a really fancy version. Uh-huh. a lot of dress-up shit on there. Okay. All the billets, all custom. Um, and you got your tank, all the little dress-up thingies, the cap, shit like that. Mm-hmm. But you can get into one of these. How much do you think you can get into one of these for? You can get into one of them. Because yeah. they got a yeah, big last, backlog? Yeah. It always seems to be something with them. Uh -huh. If you want one, honestly, Craigslist. Find them you used, huh? Yeah. yeah. You can find, I've been seeing them in here from 25 to 3500. That's what I was thinking, 2500. And you got the light on this as well. I want to do the upgrade. I want to. I got an LED I need to put on it. Mm -hmm. That'd be so much nicer. All right. Well, let me get a helmet. I got to try this thing out. Yeah. Uh, what do you think the weight is on this now, Eric? Uh, so I, I bet. I need. I need to put it on a scale. I need to put it on a scale, but I, I would be saying it's around one. 145 feels like it <laughs> it feels like a, a heavy bicycle or a, a very very light motorcycle hmm you get to with the bike. yeah it ain't quite a trials bike boy you could sure get around the trails okay with this yeah, it's got a pretty good seat height <laughs> like a, a, what do you think the uh, suspension travel is here oh hell i mean if you got to set it up do I need to... <laughs> Just that easy. Okay, so the pegs are not where you're used to. So you can kind of start with a pedal. Whoa. You end up... That is different. Wait a minute, we got front and rear brakes. Well, where's the clutch? There ain't no clutch. That's that squirrely, man. It's a quick steering geometry. Nice and quiet. It's really ride it like a bicycle with the pegs and all. the rear brake right That's the front brake it's a pretty forward leaning geometry now how do you get the down into first gear quickly yeah it's bicycle style lean to it so you're really leaning forward Slip real easy like a bike on these logs. So like this one here. Oof. Yeah. The 
there is no clutch, you don't need no clutch. Boy, foot pegs definitely do not <laughs> stay put. Good grunt, good low end grunt. Just grunts right up that trail. Real good grunt. That's impressive. That would be a single track machine there. I suspect you swap the pedals out for pegs. Gear shift. There it is. All right, so you just back pedal, back pedal into the gear shifter. Yeah, high speed. That rear fender's a little wet. Right up your backside. big powerhouse but it's beats paddling well that is certainly different and how do you yeah, <laughs> oh, stop die she won't die wow so how do you like to row through the gears uh, as you're motoring along? Back pedaling? Yeah. I just put my foot up there and then I just rock it. Okay, but you gotta rock it to get it to go because you can't just bang it, it seems like. So a little technique we're learning there. Moving, now, do they. The do they make. <laughs> yeah, there goes his leg again. Damn it, I hate it when that happens. Eric suffered a pretty good uh, accident on a Suzuki and lost that left leg. Um, oh, can you get these with um, fixed pegs? You can. I got a peg kit at the airport. Uh huh. So, but once you put the peg kit on there, now you you've stepped into another grayish area. So yeah. now that yeah. you can't ride on the, the on the road. Uh huh. And then, um, also on the trails, and you're going to be required to green stick or red stick. Right, it kind of turns into a motorcycle. So the pedals is what keeps it in the nicely gray area for a motorized bicycle, so to speak. I haven't had any issues. Yeah, oh yeah, the hell, people ain't going to be able to figure this thing out. Uh, even in uh, pedaling it as far as like trying to pedal up this like incline right here, coming up here, it's be kind of a pain in the Yeah, it's kind of heavy, huh? Uh-huh. And that pedaling only has one gear, right, as far as pedaling goes. Yeah. And if you wanted to, you can get to changing your sprockets and doing things like that. Mm -hmm. Where I'm at right now. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. And so Motoped's still in business, and you can still find these things. They're a little... I know. I yeah. The one. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Keeping up with demand was a challenge, though, it sounded uh, like. Well, the company changed hands uh -huh. a couple of times. Uh -huh. That caused issues and backlog. Mm-hmm. When I was waiting for all my kids, I heard every story in the book. Yeah. Uh, these Chinese engines, they holding out pretty good for you? No, I've always run the SSR. Before I even got into these, I did the, 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 the pit bikes. Yeah. The SSR pit bikes, and I liked uh, They've always ran good. The only problem I've ever had was when I started running the clutch motors um, with the manual clutch. Then I started, like, busting transmissions mm. and stuff. So hmm. I stayed away from that and just kind of stuck with the semi-automatic. Um, four speeds too. The five speeds cool, <coughs> but the five speeds are really thin last gear. Mm. Really uh huh. So stick with the four and top speed on this. So the particular one does about 55. Pretty good. Yeah. So the 125 pushes about close to 70. And I have a cool little sweeper 200 cc. Oh. Uh huh. Like Eric in the 90 cc motoped. Way cool. 
It's got a lot of low-end grunt. I was impressed on the trail. Just gotta get used to this pedal arrangement. A little different. Like he says, you put the foot pegs on, you're in a whole nother world of legal grayness. <laughs>